All right, guys, you asked and we answer. Today's question is how to put a house under contract. Yes. So this is- Well, we know yeah. quite a bit about this because uh, you gotta do that to get it control of it. And if you don't have control of it, you can't sell it. And we Dave, sell eight to 10 houses a month, sometimes more. So we send a lot of offers and make a lot of offers and ultimately get a lot of properties under contract. I was so just going to say, we probably have like 15 under contract right now. We probably have least. escrow opened on at least six of them that we're actually yes. going to close. I mean, something like that. I don't even, I'm not looking at our system. I don't really know. Sure. Uh, but we have a ton of properties under contract. So how do you do that, Dave? How do you put a property under contract? So Same. it's so incredibly simple. I did it this morning. I've taught 10,000. We have taught 10,000 plus people to do this at the free wholesale course. We have a free contract. It's one page. Go check it out. Freewholesalecourse.com and you can download it and you can use it. This contract that we are giving you for free, we have personally bought and sold, wholesaled over 500 houses with this contract. Over 500. It's one page. So, what is it? It's a piece of paper with writing on it. And it states who the hell you are and the name of the person you're trying to buy it from, as well as the property address. A couple more things are going to be here that are going to be very important. Today's date, the date in which you intend to close, how many days you need for your inspections and or your CYA clauses, the clauses that allow you to get out of the deal if it doesn't work out. Right. Next, you're going to want to have some printed names and some signatures. You're also going to want to highlight uh, where this intends to close and on or before what day. And then last but not least will be the price. What are you willing to pay for it and how much are you willing to put up in earnest money as escrow? That's often 10 bucks, maybe 50 bucks, 100 bucks. It's not several thousands of dollars by any means. And that's it. You fill it out. It's a couple things. What I miss? One, this contract, guys, we had Legal Shield review this contract. Oh, we did, yes. I like so this. here in Missouri, anyways, we had an attorney in Missouri review the contract. So they went over it with us and said, it's a pretty solid contract. And there's attorneys at every title company in town as well. They typically own them. Not always, but typically. They review them as well during the closings, and they look great. My point is, we've had this reviewed. It's a solid contract. So again, if you're interested in having an attorney in your state do it, you can check out Legal Shield. We'll throw Definitely. a link down there. Uh, we're both members of it because, again, we find it valuable it's to awesome. have attorneys it's to check stuff. Kind of not have it, actually. Exactly, and you're writing contracts. So how do you put it under contract? So that's step, uh, Dave mentioned the pieces of the contract. So step one, though, is sending the offer. You Send have to it. bring the bring contract. Bring it with you bring or the contract. email it. Exactly. You have to deliver the contract you to the person. You have to send it. You can't just... Verbal offers are great, but they don't mean jack shit. Okay. So once you get the contract to the person and they sign it and you sign it, then you're going to take that contract and you're going to bring it to a title company. To you an can, escrow company. You can either physically... Which is typically a title company, but it could be a could lawyer. Be a closing attorney. Correct. You're either physically going to bring it or you're going to email it to them. We and email. We email it 90% of the time and then we'll get a check up there for the... And then you open... A deposit of the escrow. It's a contract and a check. So the contract is basically stating what the intent is. Well, there's going to be a transfer of property, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And in order to make the contract legal, it's called consideration. So you have to open escrow. And that means that you put down earnest money with the agreement. So Mike, you're right. We usually will just email the title company the signed agreement. And then at some point over the next day or two, we will go and we will deliver $10 $50, $100, whatever that might be to make it legal. Now, we now have control of this property. And once you deliver the contract and the earnest money to the title company, you get a receipt. It is officially under contract. Under contract. That's how you put it. The last thing contract. would be to do, in my opinion, would be to take the receipt and take a picture of it and send it to the seller so they know, and you have a paper trail, of the fact that you did in fact open escrow and it is in fact under contract. Now, if somebody comes in behind you or after you and they and the seller doesn't know what's going on, he's signing multiple contracts, the first one to get opened in escrow, delivered to the title company and the money deposited is the winner. That's the one that ultimately will control that deal. So, how to put a house under contract, you use a simple one-page agreement. You fill in the blanks because it's really that easy. We did all the work for you. You put in the blanks 
and you deliver it to a title company with earnest money, and you could even have the earnest money be a dollar in theory, it, the amount doesn't matter. It's the fact that you have consideration, and that's it, guys. That's how to put a house under contract. If you don't have a contract already, we give you one for free in the free wholesale course. Go to freewholesalecourse.com. Check out Legal Shield if you want to have it reviewed or if you just need some help with your business on the legal side. It's the most cost-effective platform on the planet. And that's it, guys. You asked, we answered.